Have you ever wondered how the heck did they get that nighttime shot? Or why doesn't my nighttime footage look like that? Well, then you're in the right place. We're gonna take a look at how to make your daytime footage look like nighttime. Roll intro. A lot of the time when you see nighttime shots, they're actually filmed during the day and just made to look like night in post. This is what we call day for night. And it's that simple. You would film during the day and then in post you make it look like nighttime. But maybe you're asking why would you do this? Well, it's pretty simple actually. It's way easier to film during the day than it is at nighttime. For nighttime shots, you have to have a ton of light to actually see what you're filming. So you need a ton of lights when you're filming at nighttime, and maybe you don't have all those lights. And another reason might be that you simply can't film in that location during nighttime. Or you're only there during the day and you're going somewhere else for nighttime, but you want it to look like nighttime. Well then, this is the best process for you. Even Hollywood movies do this all the time, and you really can't tell the difference when it's done well. This video is actually from my color grading course. It's one of the many examples I have in the course. The course goes through everything from beginning to end of your color grading process. I go through color theory, I go through things you wanna do while you're shooting, we look at color correcting, color grading, workflow, and tons of examples. So this is one of those examples from that course. So if you wanna learn more about color grading and my process and how I color grade, check out the course down below. Link is in the description. And if you use that link in the description, it's 66% off for you. So you get a nice deal on the course. In this example, I use Colorista to do all the color correcting and color grading, but you can do this with anything, including the Lumetri panel in Adobe Premiere Pro, or any other three-way color corrector, or even curves, or whatever you have. The same principles apply. You don't need Colorista to do this. All right, let's get to it. Now with this example, we're gonna try to make this look like a night scene. So this was obviously shot during the day, but what if I wanted this to look like we were going swimming at nighttime? And so like, yeah, we could shoot this at nighttime, but there probably wouldn't be enough light since there's no other lights around here. If we shot it at nighttime, there would be no light and you wouldn't be able to see anything. So what happens a lot of times is if you want a night scene, you'll actually shoot in the day and then you'll color grade it to look like night. So there's a few little tricks here that we can do. One is just really crushing it down and, and um, putting the exposure way down because that's more realistic to nighttime. And then the other thing is adding a lot of blue tint, which is something that we equate to uh, moonlight or nighttime. Um, so let's try it out and see where we get. Um, so my hero shot is probably, I'm gonna choose this as my hero shot here to, to start this off. Um, and let's add an adjustment layer. And then we're gonna, we're gonna try to do this with Colorista. Let's see how this goes. So first off, I'm going to really drop down the exposure and it's okay even if I crush the blacks a little bit more in this case because it is nighttime so it's realistic that um, that there would be more black areas and we're just gonna bring this way down the highlights in this case kind of give it away a little bit because you wouldn't get clouds like this you wouldn't get a cloud look like this at nighttime. So I'm just gonna play around here until it looks pretty realistic. Let's play that for a second. That's looking better already.
And then let's start adding some of that blue tint. So we're gonna add blue to the highlights here. We're gonna add blue to the mid-tones. And then we're gonna desaturate. At nighttime, you don't have very much saturation, so it shouldn't be all that saturated. I mean, stylistically, you could go for that kind of look. So that's what we have so far. So that's what we started with. And this is what we have for nighttime. Let's see how it affects the other clips. So we have three drone clips here. And so it's obviously not working for those right now. But for the Sony shots, it's looking pretty good. This one's darker, so we're gonna go Colorista. We're gonna add it to that clip. And we're just gonna bring up the mid-tones a little bit. Maybe lift the blacks just a tad. There you have it. That one's pretty good. And this one actually looks pretty realistic. It looks like moonlight is coming through and it's nighttime. That looks good. So now we'll deal with these drone clips. Put Colorista on there. And so we can see that the blacks are just being crushed way too much here. So we'll add a little bit more exposure. And let's see if they match. That's pretty good. Maybe we want to add a little bit more to the highlights. Not much. I think this needs to be a little bit darker. And we can see in the in the waveform how they match. It's looking pretty good. Um, we can see also on the vector scope that saturation wise, they actually don't match that well. So we're gonna desaturate this drone footage a little bit more to get it more in line with the Sony footage. So it's still a little bit more saturated. That's looking pretty good now. It's a little bit hard to see them, so maybe we just add a little bit more exposure here. There we go. And then we can copy that and paste it to the other drone clips. And then the last one here. So that's looking pretty good. Um, we're going from day to night. So pretty simple, just playing around and tweaking. Um, a lot of times when you just have it on a still frame, it just looks way too dark. But then once it's moving, you start realizing that it, it's okay. You can still see what's going on. And it's actually pretty realistic because at nighttime you wouldn't see everything going on. So that's color grading from day to night. There you have it, super easy. And this will save you a ton of time, ton of money, and just a lot of headache when you're trying to shoot a nighttime scene. You can try this technique for some of your travel films. Maybe you want one section of your film to look like it's nighttime, but you shot in the daytime. Well, there you go, easy process to make it look like you shot it during the night. Test it out, see what the best camera settings for your camera are, and just play around and have some fun with this technique. Thanks guys for joining me. I hope you learned something new. If you want to learn more, go and check out the color grading course down below or any of my other tutorials if you just want to learn some more. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and go and follow me on Instagram if you want some more behind the scenes stuff from my different 
projects and travels and shoots um, if you just want to see what's going on in my life. Oh, and if you haven't done so, go and check out Peter McKinnon's travel video from our trip through the Alps in Italy and in Switzerland. Turned out amazing, super cool video. And stay tuned for my travel feels film from the Alps. It's coming out real soon. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be sweet. Guys, enjoy the filmmaking process and go make some travel memories.